prepare to kick the plumber to the curb and put all the bandicoots to bed. Your weekly dose of Sega Blast Processing starts now. The Blue Nomad Gaming Show. 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 Welcome, 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 one and all. Welcome to episode three. I'm your host, Timothy Rogers, the Blue Nomad. So today's episode's awesome because we went on our first road trip to do a time-honored tradition for the past few years with my family. Not a very long tradition, but about three years. So here's what happens. I go into an arcade with my family, and all I do is I count the Sega machines. It's not that I have to only play the Sega machines. I play the others as well. But I definitely find all the Sega machines and support most of the Sega ones that I can. So I decided this is pretty fun, pretty cool. Emmy likes it. Lainey likes it. Uh, So I decided let's get this on camera and let's find the most Sega arcade in the nation, or at least on the East Coast. So what we did was we wanted to go to the smaller places, a place called Abari which is a bar arcade in Charlotte um, based on the Atari system. Loved the name, loved everything about it. We were excited to go. We went there, and we found out that COVID had had hammered them closed. So like it did most small businesses, uh, they've been shut down for a little bit. So uh, we had to emergency shift our video to a nearby Dave and Buster's instead. So the point of this and the public service announcement that follows is please support the little guy when you can, as I'm going to do in the future videos with these arcades. So you may ask yourself, what are the rules for Sega spotting? How are we going to find out just how blue and how awesome an arcade can be? Well, I came up with a system because that probably doesn't shock you at this point. Your more recent machines, the ones 2000 and sooner, like some of you young people watching, get one point. And your older machines, like me, the ones before 2000, get two points apiece. They contribute to your score called the blue scale, a point. Uh, that a point gauge that determines how cool and how blue of an arcade that you actually are. You ready for this? I know I am. So this was filmed near Halloween. So the one thing that I wanted was the House of the Dead, the new one, Scarlet Dawn. I love playing House of the Dead. Let's see if we found it. Hey guys, we are here at the Dave and Buster's in Charlotte, North Carolina, and our goal today is to spot Sega machines. And let's find Sega. Alright. 
Let's see what our score was as a team. B, I'll take it. All right, so we've got our daughter, so we're not gonna stay too much longer. We're gonna go see if we can find any other Sega games. Good job, Em. Good job, lady. Six in. You did it. How do you feel? Before I get all this hate about Daytona USA, here's how you all remember Daytona USA. And here's how I remember Daytona USA. <sighs> I think I've made my point. Let's move on. So we looked around, and that was the end of the Sega machines. No more Sega to be found, which is super sad because that arcade had quite a bit. Uh, Dave & Buster's ended up with some great cabinets, some good stuff. It had House of the Dead, which made my heart skip a beat. It had Daytona, Daytona USA, but I'm not going to hold that against them. Uh, a lot of the newer stuff, no retro, and that made me a smidge sad, but that's kind of what I expected from a place like this. I wish we could have gone to uh, Bari and really seen what they had. I think that would have been really fun. Uh, this was really fun, too. I enjoyed it, but I do miss those old machines sometimes. So this place is fun, and we had really good times, but only five points out of 75-ish machines. So sadly, and this breaks my heart to say, but they cannot get the Sega seal of quality. Don't, don't, don't look at the slide. It keeps appearing like this is important or something, but it's, it's not. I, I think, so don't worry about it. Move on. Just, just skip it. And we have reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed Sega Spotting with me this week. It's a really cool segment. I kind of want to do it again sometime. Uh, tell me if you liked it in the comments down below. We'll be back next week with more Sega goodness. And perhaps, if you look at the screen, maybe some monkeys? Maybe? If you like monkeys? Like, subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it very much. And if you're interested in sending me dollars, I use Strike. And you should too. So until next time, my friends, stay true, stay blue, and God bless. Later.